Are you serious? Are you serious? Ha the Comet 45P Honda. Is it breaking apart? Well, according to BP Earthwatch and other experts, apparently it is. And it's not even to the sun yet. Now, BP Earthwatch, and this is actually a photo from right off his uh, YouTube video that he uh, did. He's got a great YouTube video, and I want you to go check it out. I'll put the link below. There you see, this is Comet. This is the Comet 45P Honda. You can see the debris trail. You can see the trail following it. And then all of a sudden, boom, what is this back here? Well, that's a big chunk of the Comet that came off. And then there's a bunch of smaller stuff you can see behind it. So what's happening is, as a lot of times, this happened to the Comet Ison. And I'm, I remember this. I remember I got so much grief from people because, look, uh, the uh, NASA and a lot of the space astronomers, uh, astronomers and, and people studying the comets, said that when Comet Ison, after it got around uh, the sun and came back toward the Earth, that it was going to be the brightest star since the star of Bethlehem. But what happened was it broke apart into at least three big pieces and then I'm sure thousands of smaller pieces. And so then it went dark on us because there was no way for it. it you know, it wasn't one consistent nucleus. And so uh, that's what happened to Comet Ison. Here we have Comet um, 45P Honda. You can see it's bursting. You can see it's breaking apart. Um, and it's not to the sun yet. It's going to get its closest point to the sun on New Year's Eve. Is this a prophetic comet? And if it breaks apart, you might say, well, if it breaks apart, we don't have to worry about it. But we do have to worry about it. Let me tell you why. First of all, it's going to get close to the sun. But when it gets close to the sun, it will be in between the sun and the earth, so it will be earth-facing. And when comets go around the sun, a lot of times they energize the sun and the sun releases tremendous solar flare eruptions. If it does, those flares will be pointed directly toward the earth and we could get a ton of pressure, which could cause earthquakes and tsunamis and volcanic uh, eruptions. So we don't know what's going to happen. But with this comet already starting to break apart uh, right here, then the question is, will it completely just break into multiple millions of pieces as it comes around the sun? You say, well, if it does, it won't be as nice of a show. You're right about that. But here's the, here's the thing you got to worry about. Then, as it goes approaches the Earth, which is going to approach the Earth very close, on February 11th and February 12th, it will go past the Earth. It won't hit us, but it will get very, very close to us. Then as it goes by, if it stays in one piece, okay, we're fine because we're going to go through its debris trail. But if it breaks up into a lots of pieces, then we got a problem because we got to go through the debris trail. And what if the debris trail is a bunch of pieces strewn out along this path and we got to go right through that. That is what we don't know. And we'll know more about that come uh, February 11th and February 12th and February 13th and in that time period. So here we go. BP Earthwatch doing a great job. But once again, keeping a close eye on this comet, Comet 45P Honda. And um, we hope to have BP with us on New Year's Eve on our broadcast. I know he's on the road right now, so... I'm, I'm, I've got a request out for him and see if, if he could be available to be one of our guests. We've already confirmed Doug Hagman will be one of our guests on the New Year's Eve broadcast. And we'll probably have, we're, we're in touch with a couple others. So it's going to be a power-packed um, all-star lineup, really, to help us understand, reflect on this year, 2016, and where do we see it going in 2017 with some of the experts from alternative media? And prophetically, I'll be bringing you the 17 apocalyptic points to watch for in the year 2017. So it's going to be a powerful, powerful evening, always very prophetic, and I'm sure it'll be a great uh, time in the Lord. And so be sure you're ready to watch it on New Year's Eve as we'll start 
uh, I don't know exactly what time we're going to start. Maybe eight, maybe nine. But anyway, we're going to go all on past the midnight hour. I'll be in. T I'll give you specifics exactly as soon as we nail down our guest and the times that they'll be interviewed. I will see you later today, 12 noon Eastern. Keep a close eye on this situation. Comet 45P Honda. Are you serious? Is this thing going to blow apart? It's, oh, no. I mean, I don't know. I don't know. I just don't know. But it's going to come close to the earth. It's the debris trail that I'm worried about. And I'm sure BP is as well. Are you serious? Give your life to Jesus Christ. He's coming. And I'm not afraid of him coming. Now, people are going to be afraid of stuff that's coming up on the earth. The Bible says, for the powers of heaven shall be shaken. Folks, you just don't know what this comet may actually bring if it comes apart on us. The debris trail, the potential meteors and pieces of comet could bring a deep impact, just like the Bible says we're going to have anyway. So we need to take a real, real, real close look at what's going on. And some, the Bible even says some people will die for fear of what's coming on the earth. But for us that are saved, we, don't have, we have no fear here. Christ is near. Have no fear. Christ is near. So keep looking up. Lift up your heads, for your redemption draweth nigh.